first and foremost i just want to say that i'm really delighted to be here in fact uh, i think deeraj is absolutely right that uh, you know every time i talk about data science and data analytics the first name that comes to my mind is always mu sigma this was a huge opportunity uh, for uh, a country like india and i think you were the first ones who actually saw this opportunity we are ahead of others and i always feel that that's so important because whilst we are making things happen there are many companies who are waiting and watching and saying let's see is it worth getting involved and by the time they make up their mind they wonder what happened so i think this is a very exciting time that we are living in of course now everything's happening in such a rush that you don't have time but when i started biocon in 1978 i can tell you that it was a very very challenging time because i was trying to build a very sophisticated biotech company at a time when we didn't have reliable power supply and you know biotech can't be done without reliable power supply there were no computers there were no phones you suddenly find people who start getting very excited with what you're doing and my initial team of people were those people with whom i could get a mind share so they were very excited with what i was trying to do i was trying to develop these biotech products enzyme technologies you know based on uh, yeast and fungi and bacteria and you know trying to make recombinant dna technology for any company such as mu sigma such as my own company it is an endurance test how do you endure i think that is very important fierce purpose you know i i wanted to do something and i wanted to do it my way so i guess that sort of drives you to do certain things so i always tell people that whatever you do you must be totally absorbed in what you're doing and if you're really driven by what you're doing and you think you're on a mission i think it you find a lot of energy to do all this but i think it's lot about the level of engagement in your job responsibility that makes you gritty or gritty. or or stick with that job i've always thrown people into the deep end saying solve this problem then you will feel very inspired so, and yeah. and uh, you know uh, 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 sort of celebrate when they solve problems celebrate celebrate solving problems yeah i find that in our country it's about individuals who are involved with government uh, issues or you know aspects of healthcare for instance i find that in many states there are individuals who drive these kind of things so it's also about identifying these yeah catalysts. so you must you must identify these catalysts yeah. and and work with them and then you can do a lot many industry segments which have not really bothered about leveraging data science and information technology in the true sense are suddenly finding that my god we lost a huge opportunity and they're trying to play a catch up game the healthcare sector is one such sector but sectors also have been working in disconnected silos you know universal healthcare is very easy to conceptualize but very difficult to deliver on mm. because it's a very expensive model because we have not interconnected it mm. we have made this whole regulatory framework for many of our sector so complex because you can't centralize anything you know because it's a state subject now it's up to the state to do to roll out a healthcare scheme it is not at the center to do it so it's become so complex that again it's about connecting the dots and if you could actually develop a healthcare system that connects all the dots you would have a very efficient healthcare system we have one point uh what 1.4 billion people 1.3 billion people in india and then china also uh you know and there's such the density of human beings between these two countries is probably you know the highest and therefore healthcare is going to become a big issue here first you have to have your broad healthcare model and i've always believed that the healthcare model actually starts with primary healthcare if you think of primary healthcare it has to be a diagnostic and preventive care model it all starts with creating and generating that primary data mm. that primary data is your electronic medical record mm. so 
it's like your aadhar card no mm. right how do you create your medical aadhar card saying mm. that this is your base level on an annual checkup where you constantly up, you know, keeping that have relevant. that track record of yeah. the of the of that individual but today anyone should be able to get into a primary healthcare and start with a basal electronic medical record where you measure the vitals mm. in fact we as a company under our csr program we have started something called elaj primary health clinics mm. where we actually have used technology to basically start with an electronic medical record that captures your vitals you can decide which test you want you can do all this today because of technology mm. you can store a lot of data on cloud mm. so you're going to get tons of data coming out so if you can actually support this on a e backbone then you start connecting the dots mm. then you can almost do profiling of disease profiling of uh, various conditions for instance we are doing a very interesting technology led um, uh, approach to oral cancer if you want a universal healthcare system that's affordable mm. okay you need to downstage disease which means you must catch disease early. early if you so here we are using basically image technology mm. where you take an image of the oral cavity mm. and you can actually start looking at lesions and now today there's technology which similarly we are doing various camps for women uh, you know new technologies are coming up where, which are not sort of intrusive technologies uh, where you can do breast cancer screening you can do cervical cancer screening so oral cancer so all this is happening but yeah. it's happening in a very disparate way yeah so if we can actually start building the connection and shaping and connecting all the dots yeah. it can make a huge difference you clearly just what you talked about is about this aspect of uh, data capture they, today you know there's so much technology that you can actually use like you know creating noise, noise yeah. uh, to basically give you that yeah. pri privacy if you yeah. want yeah. so that you know an individual's data need not be shared without consent correct okay but if you want to look at the epidemiology yeah. and if you want to see the aggregate data that should be something which is important important right so you're you're looking at data from a policy making point of view because it's very useful for mm. policy makers when they look at certain mm. data and to see how to do things mm. and from an individual's point of view where they want to know their data because they need to be treated mm. so i really think that all of you have a huge opportunity to think about where you can play where can you make the difference where can you help your your customers to even identify their own inefficiencies because many of them don't even know where their inefficiencies exist. So, uh, you know, I, I can't thank you enough. Uh, so please give Kiran a big hand. Thank you so much.